Yow, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a TF2 with Eckstein video, I am Eckstein of course, and this is another TF2Center.com pickup game, this is Highlander and I am running Engineer, Widowmaker Gunslinger Pistol is my loadout, now it's been a little while since I've played Process as Engineer, so I kind of missed the big ammo box uh, on the rollout, we'll talk about it some more, but I got my uh, entrance and my exit down, I'm going to throw the mini sentry gun right back there, Double back to make sure that I get that ammo. This Widowmaker, if I didn't pick that up, I would be in trouble. It's just 30 ammo. Get ammo back every shot. So I am going to go for a roll here. Get the uh, soldier to start things off. And uh, now rotate around. And uh, three huge shots there. Love going up against uh, mini sentries as well. So I can just get my metal back. Continuing my metal roll. Pick up the box again, even though I just needed 30. And pushing in. This heavy is like looking at his medic. And I'm going to get a ton of damage out there. <clears throat> I believe that was uh, four kills on a middle rollout as the Widowmaker Engineer. So I would chalk that down as a success. I don't know about you guys. Um, mini Sentry, I don't think used too much ammo. I kind of put it defensively. Um, but uh, obviously, I don't know, it, it worked out uh, well enough. It was more so about the Widowmaker and uh, hitting big shots there. Um, Widowmaker is a ton of fun, definitely. Sometimes... <laughs> And I think when I was playing this live, I was freaking out a couple times. It's just like, oh man, I'm missing my shots and I'm losing all my ammo. Um, but if you keep hitting your shots, you can just keep rolling with it. Thank so you, um, that's definitely uh, a positive. Uh, now, of course, with TF2Center.com, one of the cool things is you got the uh, Mumble server uh, so that you can be in the same chat room together. Uh, we had a little in game voice chat there, but there you go. So my sentry was uh, behind the rock there over on the left and uh, suspicious of this guy. Now uh, another quick tip uh, that someone on my team didn't realize, but with like a dead ringer sentry, I mean, or a dead ringer spy, uh, whenever you kill them, they drop a, a weapon. But uh, if that weapon doesn't actually give you any ammo, then they dead ringer. Um, so that's a really good tidbit. Able to work the flank here uh, with this uh, mini sentry and uh, <clears throat> picking up the health and the Widowmaker, all that. Um, definitely, you know, Widowmaker Engineer and 5CP uh, Highlander Engineer, which is more my favorite than playing on Payload. Um, you definitely obviously have, like, defensive obligations, but you're also kind of, in a sense, like a throwaway class. If there's not much happening and you have your dispenser set up, you have your teleporter set up, you have all your good stuff set up, then, um, you can kind of roam a little bit. So, particularly on this map, I think it worked out well to... Kind of set my stuff up and then start uh, working um, the IT, as that area is kind of uh, referred to. Um, little terminology for you. Also, the other area that I just walked by with the shutter, that would be uh, sewers. So, go back into the IT area. Um, this uh, soldier comes out, and uh, throwing the, the mini sentry always at least makes players have to focus that, which gives you an opportunity to deal some damage to them. Um, should have kept my distance a little bit closer there just because he lobbed the sticky uh, behind my back. Uh, but it was it was alright. <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah, you know, you want to move your teleporters uh, forward, make sure that you got them up. Um, generally, you know, I'll leave the entrance uh, up as long as possible. You don't really want to have to double back for an entrance um, and then just leave the exit somewhere good. Um, and I think here I end up, uh, yeah, I'll just like walk this up, which um, works out, you know. Um, you are obviously definitely <coughs> slower, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you are obviously slower when you're carrying a building, but, you know, uh, you don't have to spend the middle to rebuild it. I'm going to put the sentry there again. I think that's a nice spot because if somebody comes around the rock, and I was like, what the, what the hell? Um, if somebody comes around the rock, um you'll get shots off on them. If they come out the shutter door, you'll get shots off of them. Um, if they come out of IT, you'll get shots on them. So I, I think it, it doesn't really hold the choke, but besides that, you're covering a lot of uh, diverse areas. So again, I'm kind of going for this little roamer engineer, and uh, that last shot gives me enough metal to, to shoot one more, uh, but I have to kind of double back and get in here. It is really good to, to upgrade your um, dispensers. Uh, that's really helpful for your team. Um, so, I mean, a level 2 dispenser heals a lot faster, and it'll take some of the healing load um, off of your uh, medic. I probably could be doing that right now, to be honest. And also, another thing just to be aware of is you, you don't want to waste metal when you pick it up. And, and there we go. Now I'm uh, upgrading it. 
Um, but I had like 187 and then I picked up the big ammo pack and basically I just wasted like 70 metal because I only got 20 out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, there was more metal I could have used out right of it. Um, lot in IT, I'm calling that out. I'm like, whoa, whoa, there's a bunch of them in IT trying to get people to uh, rotate in there and through there. Nice sideburns. Um, but uh, yeah, our team's uh, doing pretty well. We're, we're keeping good pressure on them. Um, slow and steady. And, uh, you know, 5 CP Highlanders are definitely a lot lower scoring than 6s. Um, uh, just because it's uh, tough to capture points. It's tough to get good successful pushes. Uh, I decided to upgrade my century, or my teleporter level 2. Although it kind of screws me because one, not only am I not on the other side of it, but uh, there's not a cabinet. And uh, now I also don't have any metal to repair that uh, teleporter. So he's just able to sap, 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 sap. And I didn't have metal to place a new uh, entrance. So that kind of got all screwed up, but uh, oh well. Um, you can see there, I, I kind of was like contemplating putting down uh, something. Um, and uh, I do put down the exit and I'll just build a new entrance next time I respawn. Um, cycle my sentry gun because it was out of uh, some health. You can't repair those many sentries, so if uh, you? if you're if it's damaged and you have some ammo, some extra ammo, you might as well just destroy it and build a new one. Also, if you come upon new metal, you might as well just destroy it and build a new one. Um, Stag, um, our soldiers kind of stole my metal there. Uh, maybe he needed it, but um, I needed it more. God damn it! And uh, coming in here, and I see an opportunity to jump in and make a play. I, you know, have to pick up that metal in order to keep my uh, shotgun going. Definitely one thing that you have to be cautious about, and I guess um, oftentimes when I play Engineer, you know, a lot of times I, I prefer no view models, but with Engineer, it's nice to have view models, particularly when running the Widowmaker, um, because the issue you come across sometimes is that you... You're in the midst of a fight, and uh, you fire, and you think you have metal for another Widowmaker shot, but you don't, and so it, it switches you to melee by uh, default. And then, especially without Widowmaker, or without view models, you're like clicking for a second. Like, you can get the metal back so that you have the shot, but if you try to fire the Widowmaker when you don't have the metal, it'll change you to melee. Um, I don't think there's any sort of option or C-bar that you could change that just to turn it off. Um, yeah, but uh, you, you definitely have to be cautious of that. And uh, call that guy out. I believe I saw our pyro somewhere else, and uh, maybe somebody called it, but it's pretty clear. I stay on the dispenser just so I can try to get at least a little bit of survivability before I run out to get that uh, health pack. A little bit of chase on that scout, but I don't want to go too crazy and uh, build up that mini sentry again. That, having that mini sentry up all the time is uh, super important. Um, if you have the metal, you need to you need to drop it. I'd even say too, you know, with the Widowmaker, uh, most of the time, you know, the priority is probably more on the sentry than Widowmaker. Like right there, I had 107. I mean, even though I died and it's just there was not enough team presence for us to be there. Um, you know, if you have 107 metal, a lot of times it, it might be better to, and you don't have clear Widowmaker shots too, I guess I would say. Um, you might want to just drop that dispenser, or the mini sentry, and then back up and use your pistol. Because the pistol is, uh, is pretty effective. Um, you, uh, yeah, laser beams with it. Um, also, like, mid-range, you know, you're not, you're not going to, like, spam out mid-range Widowmaker shots. That's just not, just not going to work. Um, so in any sort of mid-range engagement is a good opportunity to just use the pistol. Uh, unfortunately, miss uh, most of my shots there, only getting 15 damage on that third one. Um, but uh, so well. Um, one thing there was that I chose to build a dispenser instead of putting uh, the teleporter exit down. Um, I was going to try to grab that um, ammo and then uh, double back and get it. But yeah, maybe I should have put the uh, um, teleporter exit down first. Uh, it is going to help out, though, because now as I get up here and place this exit, I'll try to tuck it away, maybe it's just a little bit safer. Um, so they can't get, like, two of my buildings at once. But that dispenser now has metal on it, too, so um, that's all stocked up. Um, can't pull up the uh, scoreboard to show, but we, we're getting good momentum here. I come in just in the nick of time to, to shoot down Terry Crews from behind, and we get a, get a round. So um, that, was a, that was a nice round back and forth for quite a while. And uh, we ended up winning, so I like that even more. Getting those whips. I love that disciplinary action um, in Highlander. 
Um, five CP, it's really crucial. See, this time I, I switch over to this right-hand side so I get that full metal pack. And now I'm going to drop... Uh, well, that didn't really work out so well. But I'm going to drop my um, exit and then come out this way. And I have 175 right here. Haven't put a sentry down yet. But now I have... I uh, should have had 75. That gives me a little bit of ammo. And that's exactly the situation I was talking about before. Um, I was hoping to shoot him enough to get enough damage uh, to get another shot out. So... Um, I was already kind of lining up my shot and already clicking like I was shooting, um, but it switched to my melee instead of my secondary. So um, then I'm just like standing there being like, why is it not doing anything? Um, yeah. Uh, so this teleporter is still up. I'm going to take it, but they're probably right there. Uh, it is going to work out and uh, actually probably even soaks up a little bit of damage. There's Kenny Loggins on heavy weapons guy. I was okay. trying to get my mini more so than my teleporter. Um, I'm really low on uh, ammo, and again, that time I uh, was a little bit more conscious of my metal, and I manually switched over to the pistol once I ran out of ammo. Uh, it goes a little bit faster, but I still died there. Um, sad face. Um, yeah, Widowmaker, Gunslinger, um, defensively on payload maps, um, probably not the best loadout, which is why if I'm looking for a Highlander game and it's 5 CP, I am overjoyed to play Engineer, but on uh, Upwards Payload, like, I don't really enjoy using the Wrangler, it's just kind of personal choice, personal preference, um, so I, I prefer this style of play quite a bit. Um, so you'd be really aggressive and you can put out a lot of damage, but you're still also playing a support role, and I like playing support roles. Uh, spinning around my telly, make sure you get the exit focus facing the right direction, that's just, uh, you know, hold, hold. Uh, engineering tactics right there. Again, try to get uh, my mini sentry in a position where it can cover multiple exits. Um, just so, you know, your mini sentry isn't going to get too many kills, you just want it to be able to assist as much as possible. And uh, again, you know, because I'm kind of on the front lines, I'm able to be <laughs> the first one killed and, and uh, convey useful information to my team that hopefully they'll be able to follow up on. And I'm like, yo, they are rolling through sewers hard. Um, we're going to get, uh, True Monkey was asking uh, in comms, should I, should I go for that back half? Should I get on the cap? We're like, yeah, you know, why not? They didn't really have a whole lot of players up then either, if I remember correctly. And uh, he gets a lot of progress on that back cap. And uh, players actually have to go back to deal with it. As you can see, there's nobody on Spire now. And uh, we have a bunch of spawns. So we're going to use that momentum uh, to at least retake this territory. Um, I also am going to get... Uh, you know, teleporter, dispenser, well, maybe dispenser. Uh, now that I see that uh, sniper rifle, no, I, I should have picked that up, but I didn't. Um, maybe I didn't see it live. And I got I got 96 ammo, which is uh, three shots, you know, and uh, now here I'm, I'm going to go for a flank play too. I just kind of feel that maybe I could get something, um, but I, I, I ignored that spy as well, but he does turn around and uh, stab me. Um, but I, I don't think that... That was too much of a loss, you know? Like, if I had come around the corner and I'd found their medic and they hadn't seen me and I get an opportunity to score some big shots on the medic, I mean, that's some ninja ninjaneering right there. I just said that, yeah. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's a good rule of thumb, but I feel like if you are in a bit of a stalemate situation and you respawn, especially if there's a cabinet there, you might as well just uh, upgrade your, your teleporter to level 2. Um, not really worth it. I mean, in a pub game, if you know that teleporter is going to be up forever, then definitely just upgrade that to level 3. Um, but in a game like this, um, you know, where you might need to destroy your uh, exit, you might need to destroy your entrance, you might need to move up, um, level 3 is probably not worth your time investment. Um, especially, too, the, just the way that the spawns work and stuff, you know. It's like if the medic spawns with somebody, Either you send the medic through or you send one of the other players through and the medic walks up with another player that spawns. Um, or, you know, the spawns are kind of coming a little bit more one by one. Um, I do choose to walk that gun up. Uh, you know, 146 uh, metal. If I destroyed that last gun and built a new one, I wouldn't really have much ammo for my Widowmaker. See, I had a pretty good chain going there, getting good um, ammo back. Uh, but uh, obviously take just enough damage uh, that I get uh, burnt down. True monkey piped down. Um, we have pretty good position here. Um, I am probably going to have to reset my teleporter though as we do get the uh, forward spawn capture the spire. 
And uh, this is a situation where, yeah, you don't really necessarily want to uh, push out as that team. Um, you know, we've lost a, a few players. We probably just want to focus on um, catching back up. Uh, one thing about uh, uh, Widowmaker Engineer, which I, I kind of did there, that's a bad habit, is, you know, normally you see a spy, you just, you know, shotgun check them immediately. Um, but uh, uh, with the Widowmaker, that's a waste of metal, you know. So you can pistol a spy to see how he reacts, um, but if you widow make him, uh, it's not necessarily going to work out. And I believe it's kind of like the Uber saw that it, if you actually widow make um, a uh, spy uh, that's disguised, you don't get any metal back, um, I believe is the case. Um, you know, it's kind of like the Uber saw. If the spy is disguised and you Uber saw him, uh, you don't get it. I, I could be wrong about that. I know there's something weird about sometimes when you uber saw spies, you don't get any um, any charge. I believe that is the rule. I could be wrong on it. Uh, now, I feel like that's a interesting little sentry spot, and uh, it's going to help me out to try to deal with him, but I eat that rocket to the face. I almost got the kill. He only had like 20, 20 left. Um, he also managed to get my sentry gun uh, with either that splash or, or whatever. Um... And, uh, yeah, there's a scout lurking behind um, that's really important to communicate as well. Um, and that's part of the benefit of having a teleporter up because, you know, know he's lurking around somewhere. And actually there, too, he just shoots the teleporter entrance, which is more obnoxious than anything. Um, yeah, see, there, there we go again. And, and he ran off. Um, didn't try to get a kill on me. And, uh, yeah, get that teleporter back up. Um... This may be a good opportunity if we're not going to push um, to uh, get my uh, dispenser upgraded. You see right back there, I mean, I ended up just replacing my sentry just a little bit. But, you know, there's um, if there's metal on the ground in a situation like that, particularly with Widowmaker, because metal is so important, um, you know, drop your sentry, pick up the metal, and then move your sentry forward. Um, you know, or if it's close enough or you feel like you can get that metal, you know, move forward, drop your sentry, go back for the metal. Um, so that you're at 200 metal. That's pretty, that's also just applicable to Gunslinger across the board um, because you, in that scenario, basically you have three miniguns. You know, if you have 200 uh, metal and you drop a sentry and you don't get metal, um, then uh, you're not going to be able to drop two more. You, you can drop one more, but you can't drop two more. So I decided to go back, double back for the soldier. He's actually going to go through sewer and then kill my um, teleporter over there. So again, at least though, I'm able to give my team pretty good information because I know what he's destroying. So I'm like, okay, well, um, the dude's coming out of sewer and he's still there. Uh, unfortunately, nobody dealt with him and I could have gone with sewer. Now our uh, soldier is going after him and I'm able to assist. Uh, I choose to throw down the uh, exit in here because, uh, like I was saying, you know, I pick up that uh, pick up that metal. I don't know whether I got it rotating the right way, but it shouldn't be a big deal. It's pointing pointing forward. We'll be all right. And uh, sitting there and hitting it always uh, helps it uh, build a little bit faster. So uh, might as well just get that exit out. And I buy so much metal again that I'm like, I might as well just take all that metal and upgrade it to level two. Um, so I still have metal. And then again, just set up that dispenser. That's a great heal spot. I got to give a shout out to Retro because um, we were playing, and I think I was on Soldier and he was on Engineer, and he was doing a great job, Widowmaker Engineer, and uh, he was using that dispenser spot. And it's just far enough away that it's not really um, visible or easily uh, hitable uh, by the uh, opposition. It's kind of just tucked up. Uh, tucked away just nicely enough that um, nobody's really going to be able able to damage it with a lot of splash. Um, again, you know, spy checking with my Widowmaker, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, that one maybe a little bit more so. Still not too big of a deal. And I'm going to destroy my sentry gun and, and try to move it forward here. Unfortunately, didn't get any detection on that shot on the heavy um, because uh, if I would have hit him there, then I would have had more uh, ammo. That was probably like at least a 40 or 50 damage shot. Um, Widowmaker Engineer is an awesome counter uh, against a uh, heavy weapons guy. I mean, it's not like a hard counter, but it's just one of those things that, like, he's not really going to be looking at you, per se. He's probably going to be um, checking out some of the other players and keeping his eyes open there. And uh, if he just stands there and lets you shoot him, I mean, if you shoot him twice, each shot is uh, 60 damage, 
and you're going to lose uh, 60 metal uh, for you know uh, the cost of the shots. You also just gain 60 metal. Um, and you know if you do that one more time, then you get another 30 metal out of it, and uh, that's that's a lot of metal to to just straight up gain. Uh, particularly if you're running Gunslinger and you have to keep uh, putting down mini sentries. So I adjust this a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, I kind of put it down a little bit late, and that scout's able to just kind of come up and get it, get it down. Uh, but I will rotate around the rock, not in front of the rock. Um, be a little bit safer that way, uh, so that I can get that metal. Uh, they're coming in through here, and uh, yeah, I think I might have uh, let our medic in there. Um, but certainly they got a nice push out coming on here, and uh, we're having a tough time going out. Yeah, losing a couple more players, um, and uh, hopefully we don't lose middle as well. I'm going to spawn, and uh, well, I should have cycled our teleporter there. Uh, I think one of the reasons I didn't, though, was that I saw that they're they're going to capture um, middle. So, I mean, if I had spent the metal to build um, an entrance there, I'd be 125 metal down, and then nobody's going to be spawning from there because we lost the middle point. So, it, it is kind of, would have been pointless uh, to build uh, there. And uh, you got to conserve as much metal as possible. A couple uh, whacks at that to get it uh, built up so that it can start uh, regenerating metal for me. Um, just in case I need to put down another mini or whatever. Um, and there's a lot of metal. I'm looking at this now, you know, I might want to um, put like a exit right there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it looks like... Okay, I went inside the sewer door. Uh, outside the sewer door right there on that ledge is a nice little spot too. But perhaps easier to uh, spam down from choke. Um, <clears throat> this way, you know, if I die, if we are at this stalemate for quite a while, um, I can just build an entrance at our original spawn. And I see the metal on the ground, so I'm going to cycle my sentry gun. And uh, kind of in a decent spot, I'd like to lure somebody down uh, towards it. They don't really necessarily have the best angle, but it's also, you know, it's watching my, watching my side. Um, that's one of the other just strengths of the mini sentry is like, um, you can put it down and then you can just focus forward so and if you hear second. it go off, if you hear it shooting at people, um, then you know that somebody's coming after you and then you can adjust accordingly. So they got my teleporter exit, um, they've moved through uh, sewers. Um, I don't know if I called that, but again, um, you know, you can use teleporter exits as also a way to um, kind of, you know, just see where uh, people are coming through. So. Throw this up. Need to go back in though for um, more metal. It's just not really a whole lot of metal around this last point. I can't say I definitely know where all the best uh, spots are for minis on this map. I uh, haven't played it a ton. Uh, and even that dispenser spot, as soon as I put it down, I was kind of like, nah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, you know, because it's. It's in a really high traffic area, and there's a lot of potential for um, people just uh, knocking it down even accidentally. It's definitely a spy, and you can see there, I guess that does prove my point. I hit him, I got the kill, I lost 30 metal. Um, it, it doesn't give you anything back. Um, and I believe also there might have been a case of where I, I ran over his, uh, his gun, I was like, he's not dead. There, I run over his gun, I have 171, he's dead. Um, that's really clutch, because once you... If you, if you pay attention to that, then Deadwinger is so easy because it's just, you know, okay, I scratched him, he's not really dead. And then you just start looking around. And um, the spy, spies as well, you know, um, it's such a psychological class that if you're staring at them, um, they're not necessarily going to be the, the ones that shoot first because if they shoot first, they just give away their disguise. They give away their, their chance to, to be a spy and to uh, have a bit of deception. Uh, so they're pushing in pretty hard here on the right. I get away just enough. I, I duck over to the right just to make sure that I don't uh, die. Put my gun down again and, yeah, I mean, I guess I ran over his ammo as well, which is the other reason uh, why I uh, am back to full health. But just that, you know, Mini does so much damage. I looked at the scoreboard too and I was like, let's do this. Um, and, uh, yeah, run out and uh, call, like, hey, let's get on the point. 
And I think somebody else was like, yeah, let's get on the point. I'm like, already there. Um, so, yeah, Widowmaker can be very aggressive. If you see the numbers and you know that your spawns are coming up um, and you want to push, you can go out hard. Um, and that's kind of better, too, because, you know, if I would have died there, um, they still probably wouldn't have had the numbers where they could have pushed into last. Um, and I hopefully would have been able to respawn in time to uh, get a gun down. And uh, I did choose there to really focus the heavy instead of the medic. Um, you know, if I went on the medic, then the heavy might have been a little bit more atten attentive to the fact that he needs to try to focus me down. The medic would have just ran away, but would have still been healing the heavy at the same time as well. Heavy is such a clutch ca class that I really want to make sure to take him down uh, there as well. Um, you know, I prioritize the um, uh, sentry guns because uh, they're usually ch easy, easy targets and uh, they basically give you free metal in a sense. Um, I mean, yes, you do end up uh, taking a fair amount of damage. Sometimes. Excuse me. This is the problem with early morning casting. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, the, shooting another mini sentry with uh, um, a Widowmaker, especially if you can catch it while it's building, then it's it's really is free metal because it's not even... Um, I don't know what was going on in there. I guess I didn't get the drop. Um... If you kill it, it's it's if it's building and it's not shooting at you, it's totally just free metal. Um, now uh, my entrance is kind of off in terms of um, the spawn points and whatnot, um, but that's okay to just kind of leave things like that. I mean, I'll, I'll fix it later. Um, I'm gonna fix my uh, exit. I think uh, look, I might have uh, destroyed things wrong. Um, I don't bind, I don't have any like binds or scripts uh, for engineer. Um, with mini sentry, it definitely would be helpful to have a bind that's like destroy old, uh, um, destroy old sentry gun, drop new sentry gun, uh, switch back to last weapon, you know. Um, that would be a, a very helpful bind, but also I don't want to accidentally destroy my sentry guns. So I just kind of, I don't have a bound. And uh, there are definitely some circumstances with the gunslinger where you, you might want to be able to do that. Um, you know, and also if you don't have a sentry gun built at all, then it's just a quick way to, to put a sentry gun down. Um, but I'll just generally just do it. So um, Scripting is definitely a powerful tool. And um, I mean, TF2 is like many other games that um, if you really want to step your game up, you have to examine all those options. <laughs> that unfortunate medic there just like presented his back to the spy. It was like, somebody's running at me. Well, I better jump and do a 180. Um, reminder of the score right now is it is 1 0 um, in our favor. And uh, they had a good chance uh, to push there, but we had a couple stiff defenses. Um, also, I think that uh, quick uh, retake. Uh, I get a little suspicious here just because there's. I've, I've walked past two places where there wasn't ammo. Um, you know, and uh, spy and uh, spy cloak. It just makes makes me a little suspicious. Um, but I don't think that those ammo uh, medals were, def were were taken by spies. That's just definitely something that is good to be mindful of. Um, because if a spy is running regular cloak or even dead ringer, I believe, uh, he just gets metal back from that. <laughs> I was definitely disappointed in missing those Widowmakers, but in the end we get the kill anyways. Uh, I, take, I definitely take a little bit more time as uh, Widowmaker NG to line up my shots than I do as Scout, which is probably why I have better accuracy with it. Um, because, you know, you can't just hit R, you can't just reload. Um, you, yeah, you need to find metal. Um, but if you hit the shots, you just keep going on a tear. So it's uh, really important to make sure that you nail them. And there, too, I, I shouldn't really be going for those shots with Widowmaker. I basically just wasted 80 uh, metal and got like 13 back. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasted 90 metal and got 13 back, which was 80 metal, but that, that 80 metal was a, a complete waste. Um, pistol, you know, each pistol shot would have hit for like 15 there, or 12. Um, so I would have even gotten better results there. We're going pretty aggro here, 35 seconds left. We're trying to get one more round win, um, but uh, I, I, I don't think that's quite gonna happen. Um, I get another uh, kill with my mini sentry. And uh, we've lost a lot of players, but it's going to just be too much turf for the other team to uh, overtake. So that'll pretty much do it for uh, this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I really love playing 
a Highlander engineer on uh, five CP maps. Um, payload, maybe I just need to get a little bit more used to it and bring some of the Gunslinger, Widowmaker Madness. But that's the loadout that I like to run as Widowmaker. That's what I like to play. And uh, that's how I do it. So good game uh, to everybody involved. Shout out to Meow and uh, Tip of the Hats. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I am Eckstein. I will see you next time. Peace out.